That's right, for five days I accidentally stayed in Greece's worst hood. I also have first hand experience of Katerini. Crete. Mykonos. One small step for Greek, one giant step for Griskine. Volos. And then Thessaloniki, which is literally the most ultimate base place ever. So you know how in Athens you have to pay 30 euro to stand behind a fence and look at the Roman ruins? In Thessaloniki, they're just in the street. You can sit on them for free and drink ouzo and lauks all night. Which, by the way, lauks, the best tasting drink in Europe. I don't know what they're doing with it, but it's so good. And whilst we're talking about culinary items, I'm going to walk you through the average Greek diet. So, for breakfast, get bugatza, perfectly paired with two Karelius and a grainy, lumpy black coffee. And then for lunch, you need to pick between a gyro wrap or a souvlaki wrap. Now this choice has been known to split families apart, even cause wars, so pick wisely. And then for dinner, if you're here, get something fresh out of the sea. A godfish, anglerfish, calamari. This stuff is such a luxury for me. Now, it's essential when eating in Greece that you buy a little bit extra because you can pretty much guarantee that wherever you are in Greece, you'll be in the proximity of at least 10 cats. If you don't feed them, A, they will get pissed. I have a scar here because I was eating souvlaki and volos and I didn't feed this guy. But also, if anything was to go down, you know, the Turks pull up, the taxman pulls up, then you want the cat army on your side, trust me. And talking about Turkish people, yeah, Greece invented them. <laughs> Turkey's language looks like this, Spain's language looks like this, so I think tourists sometimes get a bit intimidated when they look at a Greek map and see this sh Seriously, like the B's are V's, the Y's are double U's, and then you have these which are just like, bruh, but everyone speaks English, it's cool, it's just a bit limited sometimes. This is the Greek god, okay, Greek god. Something else Greece and England have in common is... That's right, Greeks hate the EU, and they actually have a lot more validity to this view than the UK. Greece chose the euro as its currency in 1981, and when 30 years later the financial recession hit Europe, Greece's neighbours who didn't use the euro just devalued their currency and got loans to sort out the recession. But Greece couldn't do this because they don't have control over the euro, Germany does. And then you might think, well Greece will be fine because all these countries are fine. No, because the whole world got poorer, people took less vacations and bought less shipped items and because these industries were hit so hard there were hardly any jobs available in Greece so they took out 318 billion dollars of loans so the unemployed Greeks didn't starve the only way for Greece to pay these loans back was for the Greek people to pay hella tax so anyone who wanted to keep some of their money left Greece for some of these countries which were very very easy to travel to because of the EU ah! But after all this, they still got drip. 